The use state hook is the most important hook in React because it is used to define the state. You can think of state as a built-in feature in React that allows us to manage data that changes over time. This is important because we are easily able to create dynamic UIs in React as we will see with the examples in this particular video. Now there are two main rules of hooks which I would like you to consider while working with hooks. And the first one is that you should only call hooks at the top level of your component. So you should not call hooks inside loops, conditions, or even nested functions. This ensures that hooks are always called in the same order and that React can maintain proper state of each hook. The second rule is that you should only call hooks from React functional components or from custom hooks. So you cannot call hooks are from class components or from regular JavaScript functions. So now right here we have a simple React application and all we have at this return statement is a React logo as you can see on this other side. And then we have a button that we will use to show or hide this React logo. And then right here we have another button that we will use implement account a functionality. So let's get started with showing or hiding this uh, React logo by making use of the use state hook. First thing that we need to do is to import use state in this particular component and we can just say import. Then we use these curly brackets to destructure use state from React like that. Now to call this use state hook we need to do it at the top level of our component before creating other functions or even returning anything. Right here, just after our function our declaration there, we can now call use state and we invoke it. Once we call it like this, it usually returns an array and we can store that array in a variable. So right here I can say const uh, array is equals to use state. And then right here, we can see what we have in this array by logging it to the console. So I'll say console.log of array. And I'll go ahead and save that file now. And I can hit refresh here and I'll open the console by hitting F12. And you'll see here now we have an array being logged at the console. And once we check this array, it has two things. It has the first thing here as undefined. So this is a value of undefined. And the second thing is a function. So usually the use state hook will return a value and a function. And this function, we can use it to update this particular value. Now this is undefined because uh, we don't have any default value set for our use state. And we can set a default value right here. So the value that can be passed right here can be of any data type. In this case, we will pass false, which is Boolean, but it can also be a string. It can be an object, it can be a number, it can be an array. So basically you can pass any data type right here. And in this case, we pass false. And if I happen to save again, you'll see that this value has updated right here to false. So normally you'll not see developers setting uh, this particular variable right here to be an array like this. We usually destructure these variables into uh, their separate variables. And this is how we can do it. So to destructure an array, just use these square brackets and we give these two uh, their own names or variable names. In this case, I'll use show and set show. So remember you can use any word but it is common for people to use set here and then the name of our first variable right here, okay? So that you know what you are uh, updating whenever you want to update. So now we have these two uh, values, show and set show. Show is our default value here and set show is a function that we will use to update our value. Now we can conditionally display this logo right here using the show. So I can use the curly brackets and I can say show then end end. So this means that if show exists or if it's true, that is when we will show this link. And remember this link is having our React logo. Now in this case, when I save, you'll see that it disappears because show 
is set to false. So if I come back right here, we set show to true and save, you'll see that our logo shows. We just need a dynamic way of showing or hiding the logo when we click this particular button. So if we come to this button, you'll see that we have on click event here and we are passing a reference function called handle show. So we will include our logic in here to update our state. So to update the state, we can just call set show and then we invoke it and we toggle the value of show. So I can use an exclamation mark and say show. So we toggle the value of show. And now if I happen to save, come here and click on this button, we can hide the logo. And when I click again, we can show the logo. So we can show or hide the logo by clicking this particular button. So basically, that is how we can uh, call our use state hook and have these two things. The first one being the value, the second one being a function that updates the first value, which is really awesome, okay? Now let's implement account functionality. So the good thing is that we can call this hook as many times as we want. So right here, we can just say const. And for the count, the value, we give it a variable name of count and we give the function a variable name of set count. Okay, and then right here, we call our use state hook and we give this count a default value. In this case, I'll say one. So I'll come to this button and I'll dynamically include our count here. Now, if I save, you'll see that this has updated to one because now this value is coming from our state. But when we click, the count doesn't increase or even decrease. So we need to make use of our set count to update that particular value. And right here, I can just come to this handle count, which is being called by our on click event here. So on click handle count, and here we'll say set count. So we pass our count value and we add one if we want to increase. And I save. And once I click here, you see it increases the value. Now, there is another better way of handling the state or updating the state. Uh, but for now, let me first show you the problem. So if I happen to duplicate this one and save, so we expect this to update the state twice. So when we click this button, it will call this handle count. It update the first time and then the second time. But when I do so, it doesn't work as expected. So right now we have 12. Uh, when we increase twice, it should be 14. But when I click now, it goes to 13. So one of them uh, doesn't really work because uh, by the time it's being called, it doesn't know that the state was previously updated. So to fix this, we can usually pass a function inside set count that receives the previous state just like this. So we can say set count and then we invoke it. Then we pass a function. This function will receive the previous state. Okay, so here the previous state we can call it previous count and then right here we can use this now previous count to update the value. So we can say previous count plus one. But when we double it, we expect it to update the value twice. Okay, right now it's 24. So when I click, it should go to 26. So I click and it goes to 26. So it works as expected. So this is the best way of uh, handling the state. And you can do it also for this one right here. So here we can say set show. We invoke it. Here we'll have our previous uh, show. And we return here toggle the previous show. Just like that. And I save. Okay, I can remove this now. And I save. And when I click on this one, it should show and hide normally. But now we are sure that the state will always update correctly. Okay. Okay, awesome. So one last thing that I'll show you is how you can update the state when you have uh, the state as an object. So here, let's have const up a state. Then here we'll say set our 
app uh, state we can call use state and we pass our default value as an object and we can pass both show and count to be our app state so separating the state like this it's usually good but sometimes you might have an object for example a user a user who has a name email address and all those properties and they need to be in an object so it's good to know how to update values when they are in an object we'll have show and the default value for show uh, can be true then comma here we will have now count and the default value can be zero or one let's set it to one then uh, we need to change everything else to make use of this app state so here we need to make use of app uh, state dot show okay we access the value of show then we show or hide it then for this we need to access here app state dot count to show the actual count okay so here let's first uh, comment out everything else I don't want to remove so that you can reference it okay so let's start with hiding or showing right here so here we just need to call our set up state function so set up state we invoke it and as I told you we'll have the previous state I can just say prev for previous state and here we will be able to return something we can also have these curly brackets and we can usually return the state so during the return you might think that we will update our state like this uh, since we want to update the show you might think that we we'll return an object that has show there and then negate the value of uh, show which will be available at our previous dot show uh, but this will mess things up okay for sure it will work but it will mess the other state that is related to our app state so let me show you so if i save here and then i click on show stroke hide react logo look uh these heights when i click again it shows so this works but you can see our count here we don't even see the default value because once we click our uh, show stroke hide react logo that value is totally uh, removed because it is set directly to this object okay which doesn't have count so the proper way of updating this will be to spread our previous state and then we update a certain property so we spread by including uh, the three dots right here so this way we spread previous then we set our show to be the updated value so now when i save here and I come here and refresh you'll see when I click on show it hides when I click it shows and our count is still intact and this is the same way that we will do when updating our count so here at our count I can paste this one so here we will spread the previous state and then here instead of updating show we will update our count and we'll set count to be previous uh, dot count then we increment that by one and i save now when i come right here and click on count you'll see it increments when i click on show i can show stroke height so this is how you use uh, objects you need to spread the state and then update the particular property that you want to update and that is all uh, you need to know about the use state hook i hope this video was helpful uh, so if you liked it make sure to leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and i'll see you in the next one